Hi, my name is Jesse at Trash Panda, and I have a bit of a personal problem. I am not good at putting. And the other day I thought to myself, what if I putted 100 times a day for a month? How much would that change anything? So it's day one, let's find out. Okay, I'm gonna be measuring my progress by using Perfect Putt 360 on day one and on day 30. If you don't know what Perfect Putt 360 is, you should definitely check it out. Now, ultimately, this isn't gonna be the most scientific study out there, but that's because I really just wanna find my weak spots, spend time on those, and just overall improve on comfortability and confidence on the putting green. So, day one, let's see how it goes. Not where I want to be, so it's time to put some work in. Let's get it. Okay, just finished up day two. As you can tell, I'm in my garage, and let me explain why. The two things I want most from this challenge are one, to be comfortable at 25 feet, which is the exact distance from corner to corner in my garage, and two, I really want to get comfortable and confident in my release. In the space that I have here, I think that I can practice that perfectly. I may go out to a field or a disc golf course, but this is where most of the magic will happen. So 28 more days should be a pro, right? You know, one thing I was thinking today while putting was being good at putting is completely subjective. My worst day might be someone's best day, and my best day might be someone else's worst day. At the end of this whole thing, I'm looking to improve myself to the bar that I want. So I just really want to be clear about that. I'm trying to improve for myself, not for others. Okay, I don't even know what day it is, but the other night we were hanging out with some friends and one of them found out while we were hanging out that a coworker of his had COVID. So basically my wife and I are now in isolation for two weeks. So this is a good time to do this putting challenge. <laughs> Dot heard about the challenge I was doing, they went ahead and sent me some of their dots. These are meant to clip into a chain link super easy and give you a target in the chains. I'm really interested to see if I like them or if I don't, and we'll see how it goes. Also, they went ahead and sent me some of their markers, which you can just stake right into the grass to mark your 15, 20, 25, 30 foot putts. And I think these will come in super handy when I go to the field or when I have a backyard one day. Also, Disc Dot was kind enough to hook it up with a discount code for you that also supports me. So make sure to use the code TRASHPANDA as you're checking out. It helps you and helps me. Okay, 
I just got out here to film day whatever it is and realized I've done every day of 100 putts so far from my garage. Now that's primarily because of the whole COVID exposure thing and it's snowing in Denver right now, but I have the exact same concerns I guarantee you you have right now. What about when I get into the elements? What about when there's wind, etc.? And I just wanted to share a fun thing that recently happened. Right before I started this challenge, I went and did a flex start and finished at an 890 rated round. This last weekend, I went to the exact same course, same pin locations, and honestly, pretty much the exact same weather conditions and finished with a 975 rated round. Now, yes, there are a lot of things that go into that, but I have to say, I felt 100 times more confident. So 100 putts a day, it's not that much. If you rush, you can get it done in 10 minutes, but it's working. Okay, I just finished whatever day it is in the challenge and I have some thoughts about the disc dot and I wanna boil it down to one pro and one con. When I'm practice putting, I typically aim for a spot on the center pole rather than a chain. Because I put so many putts in a row, the chains are pretty much swinging the whole time. And to be honest, I was worried that the disc dot was gonna accentuate that swing. And well, it did. But because of that, it forced me to slow down and I think I really ended up getting 100 much more quality putts in each day. The con, I'm sure you could guess it, I wish it was recycled. And hey, maybe that's something that'll happen down the line, but for now, it's a quality product that gives you quality putts. Happy post Thanksgiving, everybody. Anyone else out there on that putting practice slash workout grind, or is it just me? Whatever. Okay, tomorrow's the big day and I feel good. I mean, 100 putts, it's not that much, but I started this thing out wanting comfortability, consistency, and confidence, and honestly, feeling pretty good about all those things. So, we'll see you tomorrow. One more session. Let's go. Okay, today's the day. I'm feeling good. It's uh, a little bit colder than the last time, but other than that, I think the conditions are the exact same. One thing I am gonna change this time is last time I was changing the camera angles throughout and it really, I think it distracted me. So this time you're gonna sit right there and uh, we'll chat afterwards.
Okay, honestly, regardless of my scores, I feel amazing. Like, wow. So consistent, so comfortable, so much more confident. Woo! So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those scores, get home to where it's a little bit quieter, and uh, we'll talk to you then. Okay, honestly, that challenge was so fun, and I think the results speak for themselves. As you can see here, this was my score on day one, and this was my score on day 30. But at the end of 30 days, I really don't care about the perfect putt 360 score. I care about how I feel. I started this challenge off wanting comfortability, consistency, and confidence. And I think I achieved my goal in improving all three of those. And even though it doesn't seem like much, 100 putts a day led to a massive improvement for me. So thanks so much for following along on this journey. And if you decide to take up the challenge of 100 putts a day for 30 days, I'd love to hear how it goes. Please subscribe to support the channel and we'll see you next time.